Hi guys, Colleen here, and today I want to go over the newer version of Retro Orange Pie for the Orange Pie Link that I have right here. And as for controls, I'm going to use a USB SNES style controller. As I know this about the new version, the desktop has gone faster, they added DOS games, and the games have gotten better resolutions, which I'm very proud of. I just hope in the future they'll add DS emulator to play the DS games because those are my favorite type of games. So let's get started with the image. Is blowing up. As you can see, the the um, blowing up screen or loading screen has changed, and I'm really impressed by the change that it has. I think the new one looks better. As you can see, the, the selection screen has changed, and I really like how they changed it. Very cool. Let me find N64. Let's start up. As you can see, they also added a screen, so if you have like a, a video of your gameplay, you can add it on, and it'll show it right here based on the title of the game you were playing on. And I really like how they changed to it. They also have player one, and you, I guess you can add your name on there if you really want to. And they also have stars that you can rate it from. So right now I'm going to pick wait Super Smash Bros. There we go. So let's let that thing start up. Oh, actually, now I think about it, it's, the game's working better than I thought. Training mode. Yeah, that's the wrong problem about this game. It, it, it slowly, with the N64, it doesn't work as, as well. So we do the Super Smash, Super Smash Bros. game. So yeah. But, so, with desktop right here, it takes a, a fair amount of time to boot up now. The older, mo the older version took a long while for it to boot. And they also took the liberty to add a built-in keyboard inside the screen. So like, let's say for instance, someone wanted to make the orange pie portable, so they use a touch screen display. They won't have to config the keyboard on because it, it will already have it right here, which is pretty good if you want to make a portable orange pie. And I also learned that you can just take a USB stick and drag the ROMs into there and go to um, ROMs and drag them to the right files to it. You can't do it to the the same way as a Raspberry Pi. So that's who, that's why I wanted to go over. As always, please like and subscribe and feel free to leave a comment down below and as always, thanks for watching. Peace.